What are your non-negotiables? Welcome back to After Hour Happy Hour. We are your chaotic but cathartic hosts. I'm Jamila. I'm Vicky. I'm Sharon. Welcome back to season three. We're starting this season off. With a banger, what are our non-negotiables? Basically, we're just talking about what are our non-negotiables. Like, what? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> it's like deal breakers, but the opposite, kind of. Oh, like you have to have these things, right? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Like deal breakers are like the things that you look at other people and you're like, absolutely not. But then these are the things that they have to have. You know? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was okay. like, oh, he's dirty. That's non-negotiable for me. Pass. No, 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 no. Like they have to be taller than you. Non-negotiable. Or they have to smell good. I guess it could kind of align, but like, you know. So it's like things that, that your guy has to have. Yes. Okay, got it, got it. Well, yes, guys, that's our topic for this season. Or not, sorry, not this season, this episode. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, for this season, you have to be taller than us. If you're not, (laughs) exit out of here. Do we want to start off with like, I mean, okay, honestly, when we're filming this, it's only been like two weeks or three weeks since we ended the season. So it doesn't feel like we have much to catch up on. But if we want to catch up on anything before we start the episode for our audience out there. I don't got anything in my life. I moved back home, unfortunately. That's about it. Jam is high on serotonin, and I think she's going to stay this way for a little bit. I love LA. She's thriving, man. She's thriving. Okay, shall we get into the first question, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. What are our non-negotiables and why? How about you start, Vicky? I feel like you usually have a lot to say about these things. This is going to (laughs) sound shitty. It's because I've experienced it before, but I kind of want to say like being able to speak Cantonese. (laughs) That's not shitty. Yeah, but it like narrows the pull down so much. And I feel like I'm going to have that statement bite me in the ass when I date someone who cannot speak it. Or at least, okay, I feel like that might be pushing it. At least understanding it just so you can communicate with me. Because I've experienced dating someone who can speak Cantonese and I feel like it made expressing myself a lot easier. What? You communicated with him in Canto? Mm Mm-hmm. Full on sentences? Sometimes it was like full on sentences or here and there I'd be like, ooh, I know this word in Cantonese, but I don't know it in Chinese or English. Oh, so it's more about you guys communicating than like them communicating with your parents? Yeah, my parents understand English and I think I'm at that point when parents are like, please just date somebody. It doesn't matter if they can, you know, so I don't think they even worry about that anymore. It's just me. (laughs) Like, obviously, they'll prefer if they can communicate, but at this point, they're like, it's okay, like, just date. Well, I guess they don't know about all your boy problems. They don't. They just think I'm really picky. No, wait, what did you say yesterday? If they, what did you say yesterday, Sharon? <laughs> It's, it's because Sharon sent this specific TikTok where I'm pretty sure they're dating, but their convos are like kind of toxic, but in a funny way. And no, also, it, this TikTok was about two people in a situationship. But I, I feel like that's her sarcasm. It's just like they're dating and then she claims it to be a situationship because that's how they play it off to be. Pause. Anyway, their conversations aren't toxic. It's very like... It's not toxic, but it's like mixed signals. It's like, I I love you, but I don't want to date you. Oh, she said, if I don't have mixed signals. Oh, she said, I want a man like that. If I don't have mixed signals and constant worry about if he's joking or not, I don't want it. (laughs) It's like, you have so many (laughs) boy problems, Vicky. We love that you're thinking for yourself some more. Yeah, you know, it's fine. (laughs) Anyways, that's my non-negotiable. You have way more than that, I'm sure. I didn't think about it. Oh, if you didn't vote in 2020, you could go fuck yourself. (laughs) (laughs) I was called a smart toxic because I don't know if I've ever mentioned it in the podcast, but you can check if someone – technically, the the site that they made to check if you voted or not was for, like, your personal check to see if your ballot got through. So there was a website during the 2020 election where you can put in, like, your birthday and zip code, and then they'll tell you if you registered to vote so that you can actually go vote through election because you have to be registered. And toxic me was like, well, I know this information about a lot of people, aka my exes, so let me check. And I dug my own grave and figured out that my ex did not. And I was like, go (gasps) fuck yourself. And so I told a friend that recently.
me and she was like, there's toxic people and there's smart toxic people and you're the smart toxic people because you care about the election and you're checking on that. It's like checking someone's phone, but checking their registered votes. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure you told us this, but you didn't yeah. vote? No, he didn't even register to vote. Yikes. That's a non-negotiable. If our politics are not the same, absolutely not. Is that non-negotiable for you too, Sharon, if they didn't vote? Dude, in 2020 especially, if you didn't <laughs> vote, it kind of says a lot. But is it a non-negotiable? Like, first date, you guys somehow managed to get to the topic of politics, and you're like, oh, did you vote in the last election? And he says no. For me, that's an automatic sorry, there's no second date. Like, immediately after that, I'm like, I, we could end it here. I will go home. I need to know why you didn't. Because the acceptable reasons to why not? Because there could be like a, I don't give a shit to, or like, my vote's not going to do anything. Or it's a, I'm a dumb piece of shit, and I don't know why I didn't <laughs> vote. <laughs> They're going to be taken very differently. Either way, you 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 fucked up. But like, if you didn't give a shit about it and you're like genuinely, my vote's not going to do anything, then that's a bro. Like, we clearly have different morals here kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anywho. Dude, I'm going to sound really shitty for saying this, but hi. It's not shitty. That's standard. But is there like a inch requirement height? For me, <laughs> it's like 5'8 and above. And it's only because Damn, I dated like Shouty. <laughs> five eight is pretty standard. That is. I don't know that many five eight. Five eight is not that tall, you guys. Like it's tall to Vicky, but to me and Sharon, it's not that tall. Asian men is like standard America. five eight. No standard five eight. Dude, I think it's Vicky. five seven. Yeah, like five six five seven. No, it's definitely not. It's five, Dude, seven, I'm on hinge. Eight. How many people do you know that's like five, eight and above? Like so many, like 90% of my guy friends. Really? So they're all at like five, eight. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Because I'm like, I think all my friends are around five, six to five, eight. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty like sure. Borderline five, four. So five, six is only like a little taller than yeah. me. I'm yeah. pretty sure. I don't I don't have that many friends to begin with. So <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's that's pretty fair. But it's also because I dated shorter guy before. And it's just not the same feeling of like when you hug them from behind. Like I wanna be smacked into their back like a wall. Not like accidentally peek over the shoulder. I feel like five A is also just like a good height for me when I'm not wearing heels and when I'm wearing heels. Mm-hmm. Do you have any Sharon? You have to have some. Hold on, I was gonna say, dude, I don't know about non-negotiables anymore because I'm in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that <laughs> broke everything and he's, he checks nothing of your original boxes? No, 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 <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Jam Excuse said my language. that, not me. Um, things that in the past might have mattered to me a lot don't matter to me as much anymore. For an exam- example, like my non-negotiable would have been I won't date in the friend group ever again. Mm-hmm. But I am. And to me, that doesn't matter anymore. Like that. Yeah. Are there non-negotiables? Self-confidence. It's fine to be insecure. Like everybody has insecurities and I do. But man, <laughs> I am not going to affirm you for shit if you need it all the time. Do you have someone in mind who like needs reassurance all the time? No. I just like from shows, from books, when there's like an overly insecure person, I can't. Like if your constant mindset is to look at yourself and you're like, I cannot do this or oh my god, I think this is going to suck for me or like it's fine if you have those thoughts. I think everybody does. I do too. But if you actively let those thoughts control you, you're not ready for a relationship and I'm not going to date you at all. That's really shitty. Wait, I'm sorry. I feel like that makes Wait, no, I feel like that makes sense. Like I wouldn't want to date someone who's always like needing words of affirmation either. Yeah, Vicky, I can't. do you love me? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that to me, please. See, I like to think that I'm asking for things that I also provide. Like, I do not need you to reaffirm me on anything. Like, if I know that you love me, I know that you love me. I don't need that affirmation all the time. <laughs> I'm not being too brutal here. I just need me. No. So I want to think someone who's so much similar to you. We've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Yes. Jam's the only one who said she needs someone different. Yeah. Yeah. I think needs someone more like-minded. No, that just reminded me of one, a non-negotiable for me. If they're not ambitious or slash mm. they're very lazy and doesn't really want to work on improving themselves or like, mm. I guess, grind, I think that's really 
important to me that we're both working towards something. Like I'm not asking you to be freaking next Bill Gates or be like hella rich or whatever, but we're both working towards a goal professionally or personally or I need the person to be ambitious. Yeah. I feel like I have just random ones that come to my head and not any that has actual backing. <laughs> like if you sleep with one pillow. I sleep with one pillow. Like on your bed. Oh, yeah, you do, Jam. On my bed. Jam's literally pillow. the type of person I would never date. I'm so glad we're friends. <laughs> like I'm glad that you are a girl and I'm glad that we are friends and I'm not gay because we would not be where we're at right now. Wait, wait, wait. What if it was a twin? I'm not saying now. Like back in college when had everyone had twin beds. Pillows. I had fucking but you're one. You're so tiny. Yeah, twin beds are so tiny. Yeah, but also Vicky's small, so it doesn't look. Dude, she could no, have no, two no, pillow. No. I can't. Wait, on a twin bed, you genuinely can't fit two normal size pillows. Yes, you can. I did. You remember my bed in college? Every no. year, I had two pillows, and I had like a sausage pillow. Okay, then Vicky's just small. I just don't know how people sleep with Annoying. one pillow. <laughs> I feel like it gets too clutter and it gets too hot. Like I need a space to freely roll around. No, 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 no. I like that particular. I need two pillows. Like if people sleep so over. So if a guy doesn't, if a guy only has one pillow, you that's an immediate no. Imagine her walking into his room, sees one pillow in her head. This guy's freaking psychotic. Why does he only have one pillow? I would think that. I think I verbally say that out loud. I'm like, are you okay? Vicky? <laughs> I think that's a preference, right? It's not a non-negotiable. If it's a non-negotiable, yeah. that cuts I feel a like lot it of viewers. would lessen how he looks in my eyes. Yeah, I'm just crazy. It's fine. That's why I'm single. All of your exes have multiple pillows in his head, in his head, in his bed. I think so. Yes, because there's no way I'm sleeping over at their place and they were sharing a pillow. What the fuck? Fuck out okay, of here. Yeah, okay, yeah, that. <laughs> no, if if they have like a Jamila, get another pillow. <laughs> If they, if they have like a, if they I have they like a, thank you. Why? Why? why oh, it doesn't matter. No, no, no. This is facts. Like, let's say you bring a guy over and he's like, "Do you have a pillow for me?" And you're like, "No." <laughs> that's that's that. Get a no, get another pillow. You know, that's a problem for later. How about we? I get the guy first, and then okay, we'll talk about maybe that that's my non-negotiable. It's not the fact that on their bed there's only one pillow, but if I were to ask them for one myself and they're like, no, we're going to share this one, I would okay. be like, there is no sleepover tonight and I'm leaving. Okay, I, I, I agree. Jamila, get another pillow. Isn't that kind of cute? You guys are on the same pillow? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, because like, like just, just say first time, like it's first Seattle. time together. Oh my gosh! So Jamila hogs eighty percent of the bed, right? And I was like, you know, that's fine. I slept twenty percent. Fucking Sharon, when we were sleeping in when I was at Se- in Seattle visiting Sharon, we we're sleeping on the same bed. In the middle of the night, her whole face was on top of my head, and I remember waking up and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So even 80%, she was like, this is my bed. <laughs> and she was on top of me. I didn't think I moved that much, but I guess I do. But wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jam, let's say you go over to a guy's place and he only has one pillow. You wouldn't be like, oh, do you have an, like, you would prefer your own? Mm, if it's my first time over, I'm just like, if he has another one, he has another one. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to be like, if you don't have, he, if he doesn't have another pillow, I'm like down. He's psychotic. Like I can't. I'm leaving. Can't think. No. I think it'd be like if he said, "Oh, why do you need your own pillow?" That I'll be like, "The fuck." Oh. But if he's like, "Oh, let's get you a pillow," then I'll be like, okay. "Yeah." If, if like the multiple times after I go over and he still doesn't have a pillow for me, then I'm kind of like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my housewarming gift to Jam. I'm gonna get her a second pillow. <laughs> Just tell me how firm it is. Honestly, it'd be a good idea for you guys to get a pillow, a second pillow for me, because you guys could use it when you guys are here. Oh my god! Oh, oh yeah, because when I yeah. when we visited Jam in the Bay, what did we sleep on? The couch pillow. Oh, I used my hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> she had one couch pillow and like a throw blanket for us, and we just all shared that. <laughs> How are you guys friends? <laughs> That's a funny non-negotiable biggie. You're funny. (laughs) Dude, I feel like as I grow older, I'm more particular about things. And I just cannot fathom. I feel like these small things speak to your character. So I don't know if this is non-negotiable, but if their name is the same thing as my exes, 
<gasps> I just oh. find it. I feel like I just find this so like weird. Not that I've met anyone really with the same names as my exes, but I'm just thinking if they were, how I feel, you know? Yeah, I think so too. Non negotiable. They have to be clean. <laughs> um, I was gonna be like bathroom. Oh, like I can deal with the other areas. I feel like you know I could turn a blind eye. We'll work through this. But if I walk into your bathroom and it doesn't meet my standard, that's automatic. No, I'll make sure to deep clean my bathroom before you guys come. Yes, please. I have a non-negotiable. If the guy can't drive, uh, because I can't drive, so we can't have be having two people who can't drive. See that I would agree with you, except um, Kim Namjoon from BTS doesn't know how to drive, so that's fine. <laughs> but he's also rich enough to just have a chauffeur exactly. everywhere. Exactly, so he maybe also pick you out on his someone bike. can do that he's for you. Kim Namjoon, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. Normal no. people, normal people, you're right. The guy needs to drive. Okay, fair. If he doesn't eat raw food, like a raw fish... <laughs> What if he's allergic? Oh my god, fuck that. Grow up. (laughs) That's my non-negotiable. I love... That means we're not supposed to be together. There's no way I don't enjoy like a nice fancy sushi dinner with my significant other. Yeah, no, absolutely not. What if they're allergic? Yeah, Then we're not dating. We could be friends. There's no way, Vicky. (laughs) No, actually, there's a lot of foods that you can be allergic to that I do not care and I'll work around. But there's like a handful of food that I enjoy way too much and find so much like happiness from that if you're allergic to it, I'm sorry. I Why can't. can't you enjoy it with people that's not him? Hold on. Because knowing what different. you know of your relationship with your ex, if you if he was if he was allergic to seafood or raw fish, you think you wouldn't have dated him? Probably. I don't believe no that. No way, Vicky. Well, I knew that they weren't allergic to anything. That's like probably one of the first few questions that I ask. Like, you know, like if we got to dinner, I'm like, are you allergic to anything? I should just ask a consider of you to ask if you're allergic to anything. I just assume they aren't. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. What, Vicky? I'm trying to think if that's actually <laughs> before I get called out on it. No, it's fine. <laughs> just do it. It's fine. We'll, we'll accept your answer. It's like understanding current trends. Like as in news? No, but like TikTok, those type of things. Like if I was like, I like it, Picasso, so, and they don't really understand that, I'm like, <gasps> I feel like a degenerate now. So, Javilla. So how about you just name everything in me? <laughs> and then <laughs> But I, I think it more geared towards of like not liking social media. Just not on social media like you you're just like i don't have any accounts like i just go about my day and i'm like Ugh. do you think they're psychotic if that if they don't have any like social media accounts no i'm just what do you do like you're not we're not the same type of people because as much as i don't like social media like that's my downtime at bare minimum i would prefer you to have an instagram like tiktok i could understand because that came out like a couple years ago and you're just like whatever about it I don't know. It's just like, how do you, what do you do? Interesting. I don't think I know any guys who like don't use any social media. Part of me, I feel like a lot of things, Vicky's like directing it at me. Now I'm like, no. Well, you're on Instagram. TikTok, yeah. Like you watch reels. So like at least you kind of know, just late. You have to have a hobby. What if their hobby is you? Oh my God, no, I can't. It's not that I don't like that they're obsessed with me. It's it's the guilt of knowing that they will not be that for me. I can't return that same feeling. It could be like they like gaming or... Yeah, if there's something that you can do while I'm doing something, like if I'm reading, once I get into a book, I don't care how much I love you, please leave me alone to let me finish it. Uh... And if you need my attention, I cannot provide that for you. And I need you to have something else to be like, okay, I'll just go do this for now. Like it's not even every day. It's just one hour out of a day or every other day where I'm just like, please just let me finish this book. And if you're centered your world around me, I would hate you. Know that you never interrupt Vicky while she's reading because I've definitely done that before. It works with me and Jam because she's okay with me half listening to her sometimes. But if you need me to actually like be present and listening, I that'll be hard. Hmm. But I also can't do like obsession. Like I like reading about it. I like watching movies about it. But just don't be obsessed with me. Wow, that's narcissistic as fuck. <laughs>
I, this is more of a deal breaker. But if they don't accept content or they don't really accept the entertainment slash music industry, which is pretty like it goes hand in hand with content. What if they don't want to be in your content? No, that's fine. Like they don't even want to help you film. They don't. That's your oh. world. Like I don't want to take part into it, but I accept that you do it as long as I'm not in it. Mm. Oh, maybe they have to have some sort of interest. At least like be okay with helping me film and take pictures. Oh, I I have one. If they're too vanilla in bed. <gasps> oh. I think at the end of the day, that would be non-negotiable. Like, I'll give it a couple tries. It wouldn't be, like, the first time and I'm like, you're out. <laughs> but eventually, I'll be like, yeah, sorry, this is not working out. Yeah, Jam needs some church-looking opas, but freaky-deaky in bed. <laughs> I'm telling you, I want a wholesome-looking guy, but he's wholesome. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. wholesome-looking, but wholesome yeah, yeah, yeah. personality. Vicky is wholesome-looking, but wholesome personality but host some in bed oh my god if you cannot like entertain my hypotheticals oh oh, that would piss me off like if we're having a question i'm like well what if one day i just like turn into a worm what would you do and he looks at me and like you're fucking dumb (laughs) i would be pissed (laughs) because i like having hypothetical conversations where it's just like nonsense debate that you know at the end of the day like it won't happen but it's just like a fun topic to talk about but if you're not going to entertain me and like carry those conversations that would just make me so sad yeah yeah i guess I mean, this is a not deal breaker, but if you're bland, I guess, like a non negotiable is that you have to be fun. You have to yeah, drink. If that jam is, you have to drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way you is can date real? somebody who doesn't drink. Yeah. Like, if he doesn't want to take any shots with you at all. Actually, yeah, you're right. Dude, that'd be so sad. Imagine if one day jam just like really likes somebody, but they don't drink. Dude, that's like devastating. Yeah. No, but the thing is, I won't like them a lot, a lot if they don't drink already. But what if they like are very, very social? They just alcohol is not a thing for them. I don't think I can because I like the vibe of drinking together. And in my head, I'm just like the vibe of like you guys are together and both of us are like really good drinkers or something. Or it's just something about like him being able to drink a lot is like really attractive to me. Mm. I don't know if this is non-negotiable for you, but do they have to be smarter than you, Vicky? I think that's mine. Oh. I don't think they have to be smarter than me. Like, that's not the non-negotiable. The non-negotiable is the thirst for knowledge. Like, wanting to know more all the time. Because I feel like I have a very high thirst of knowledge right now where I, like, want to learn everything and anything. And so if you don't feel that same way, I think that's a non-negotiable. But if you're smarter than me, that's so hot. Like, sometimes I'm like, you can mansplain me into thinking something. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) I have a non-negotiable. We have to have similar music tastes, or at least some of our music tastes, music tastes mm. overlap. I can't imagine if this guy is into like heavy metal, country only kind of thing. What if they only listen to EDM? That's fine That's for smart. Jam because she likes EDM. Yeah, but if they listen to like completely something we don't even overlap on, I can't because I love live events, and if we can't even go to something like that or just enjoy the same kind of music, mm. I have one, another one. I'm just thinking of things what I lack, so this is why I need. To go. He, can, he needs to know how to cook or wants to learn how to cook better or just want to improve his cooking. <laughs> That's you These are literally cook. things that Jam doesn't have and she's like, yeah. man, must do this because I can't. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah, sure. Sorry, I have one. You have okay, one? this is a deal breaker. Say it. If you are a morning shower, I am sorry, we're never dating. Like you have to shower at yeah. night. Mm. What if they do both? Like they do That's night fun. and morning. That's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. Imagine sucking that. But not even that, yeah. but just like yeah. you going into your bed after a full day not showering because you're going to shower in the morning is just a non negotiable. That's, that's, I'm sorry. It's like you're clean to go out, but you're dirty to go to bed. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it really doesn't. Like the equation is not balanced. <laughs> Math ain't mapping. <laughs> Is it a non-negotiable? I think it's a non-negotiable for me if you don't go to the gym. Or, oof, that's going to sound bad. Oh. Wait, what if they don't lift and stuff, but they do a lot of other types of exercises? That's fine. Oh, so it's like staying active. I think like bodybuilding of some sort is is just something that I... It's so ingrained into my lifestyle that having someone who doesn't or like doesn't appreciate mm-hmm. that same like active lifestyle, it, it's just kind of... I can't imagine it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The last question we have is, what will it take to break one? And have you ever broken one? I've broken one. Oh, yeah. When we planned this episode, you had one. I, I Before, I'd be like, I'd never date a cheater, but I have. So 
That's a good that's a good non-negotiable. Like I wouldn't date someone who cheated. Yeah. But that's like sensing where it's like it depends. I don't think I've broken any of my non-negotiables. I think mine was literally just I will not date in the friend group and then I did. That's a big one because I remember you talk about that a lot. Watch me date like the shittiest person next and then they just like break all my non-negotiables. So that was our first episode of season three talking all about non-negotiables which kind of trickled into deal breakers or I guess what we like and don't like severely about a person. But let us know what your non-negotiables are and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>